I'm going to put the sound on, but Alexa is supposed to come on and tell us. She's slacking, huh? I don't know. reason I'm waiting is that machine over there is supposed to remind us to turn it on. Mm -hmm. She has every morning, I mean every time, every all week. Does it do it right at 5 o'clock on the dot? Or yep, just a couple. Oh, okay, we still have a minute to go. I had to spell her name over there because I have trouble remembering it. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that amazing? She'll say it again. Here's your reminder. Hmm. Turn the light on, turn the mic down. <laughs> turn the light on? Well, turn the camera. Turn the camera. It. She didn't understand that part. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> huh? I, I won't, no comment. You're not thrilled, huh? I don't like Alexa. What? I don't like Alexa. Why? Well, I have my reasons. I'll tell oh, you about them later. I'm sure that <laughs> listening to everything you say. Exactly. Who gives a rip? <laughs> yeah. I do. <laughs> what are you saying that you don't want people to hear? Mm -hmm. That's even more interesting, right? <laughs> not really. I mean, if anybody wants to listen to what I babble about, they're perfectly welcome to go <laughs> at it. Any rate, here's another pen. God, we get a pen a day. Don't we get a pen? We get a couple of weeks. Between Amsterdam and National Pen. <laughs> Amsterdam. Was it Amsterdam? Yeah, Amsterdam. Oh, excuse me. Okay. Here we go. Da, 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 da. And they're nice pens. They're gorgeous pens. And they keep sending them. <laughs> Are they Service SDP dog pens? Huh? SDP pens? Yeah. yeah. But this is not the outfit I ordered from. I got them from National Pen. So they're trying to sell you pens, basically. <laughs> Do you think maybe I didn't know that? <laughs> maybe I didn't know that. Oh, oh yeah, God, there you go. Oh, I can't stand it. Okay. Well, we, should, we should get the freebies anyway. That's true. I got them. Area and Harrison. Adio Halls, Idaho, something like that. Oh, no. That's the wrong end. I put it in backwards, that's why. Okay, so here we go. Here we go. We have a note. We have a note and a dollar bill. I'm hoping you spell it correctly. Well, I didn't tell me anything here. That's it, no note. Yellow paper. I wish I could read that name a little better. Well, that's an, a, it looks like a re, a Riki, a Ricci, in Whatever. Harrison. We got a dollar for the fun fun and a piece of yellow paper. There you go. You can have that one. No, no, no. Well, thank you anyway. Yep. The dollar we didn't have before. Jill Larson, Idaho Falls. Does that... Handwriting look like the other handwriting? No, let me see. Exactly. Is it exactly? Yeah. Okay, so that's who it's from then, right? I guess. Here we go. What's he, what's she say? Different name, but that's it. That's good. Okay, this one says thank you with a drawing of a house. And this one. That's a fence, but you know what that looks like? It looks like an EKG. The top of there. 
<laughs> that looks like an EKG. The, the straight okay. line going all the way through it kind of kind of unnerves me a little bit. Yeah, it says thank you for all you do, and you're all so awesome. Thank you very much. That's a good one. Okay. Pending acceptance required. Whatever that means. Capital One. Sounds like they're trying to give me advertising. Charge card or something. Two charge cards. I got a platinum one and a, another platinum one. Pink platinum and it doesn't got anybody's name on it or anything. I don't know. There you go. Well, it's also it's that approval code. You want to make sure you get that in the process. Oop! That that went on the floor. Okay, domain listening. This is another pain in the neck. Ah. Uh. Okay, so here we have the next large problem that I go through all the time. ServiceDogProject.org. $228 a year. The problem with this is, which this is ours, <laughs> and we will do that. Um, but they always get you with, wouldn't you like to do? Is that your domain registration? Yeah. Can I see it for a sec? They always get you with, wouldn't you like to have servicedogproject.com and a few other things? That, that's, I can guarantee it's fake. I get. I, I've gotten emails from them and I get letters from them in school. Well, this all one the time. I have to go back to because we are <coughs> we are registered with somebody. We have to find out who. Yeah, see who you're registered with and find out what your expiration date is, and I guarantee you that it's not them. That that's a that's fake. That's fake. Yeah, they, wasn't they, that cute? They they do it all the time. It drives me nuts. I get these notices. Your domain is. Is going to expire, and blah, blah, blah. meanwhile, I know that I have two more years on it. You know. Well, I think I registered mine to the twenty fourth. I mean, the two twenty four. Yeah. Well, there you go. So I, uh, but this yeah. one, this one says it's only April first through March next year. See, that would be yeah, another. It's, it's, it's not real. No. This is not a bill. It says so right here. Yeah. It's a solicitation. You're under no obligation to pay the amount. Yep. above unless I accept this offer. Right. Well, what the hell is the offer? That you register your domain with them and you don't even know who they are. <laughs> I would just throw it in the can. Well, I will throw it in the can, but it is. The, um, the people that have our website I don't remember because I remember I looked it up once. No, I it's a, it's like the same guy's name as has a chicken brick. It's just not the same guy. Oh, is that right? Yeah. No, it. Oh God, I can't remember. I can tell you in a minute. Huh? I can tell you in a minute. Oh, okay. Well, you can just do that. Time process, etc. <laughs> I didn't do that one. Did you find it out? I can. I can Uh, it's Mark or Matt. There you go, Mark Amaroth. I knew it. Equine the site. That's ours. There you go. Is that is that what you have over there? But it's, uh, you know, I don't have it yet. It's, it's just coming up as already registered, but I'm, I want to see it's, it. Usually it gives you a listing of. But Mark Amaro, it's the same as Camera Mark. Damn near or something, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, but it's, yeah. It's not the same guy. Well, so much for that <laughs> idea. But it, it's equine site. That's. That's, I, I call them up when I have a problem. 
Okay, and here we have $30 for chicken bricks from Margaret Peggy Batter. Okay, you are registered with company is Two Cows. Okay, I know that name. Domain is da 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 da. The expiration date is 8-24. How about that? Yeah, there you go. All right, I will send you... Now what the hell? I equine site. Why am I... New Hampshire Web Solutions. Why am I with him? I, they, they, I don't know. They do something for us. I know that. any rate, I can't do, I can't behave. I can't think. Let's try not to stress me. Okay, this is swab, charitable swab. Here's a hundred dollars from Cheryl and Charles Salt. The grant is wherever it is needed most. Well, isn't that nice? It's oh, hundred dollars. Nice. There we go. Very nice. Thank you very much. And Ooh, we go to what? I didn't get it. I didn't get it. <laughs> Charles, I did. I said that. Any rate, this one is. Um, Jan and Charles. Jan, girls, mailed on the fourth. Australia's first police force was made up of the most well-behaved convicts. Yeah, I believe it. <laughs> Clinical philosopher. I think it's pretty cool now how Chinese people made language entirely out of tattoos. What? I don't understand that one. The top of the Empire State Building was originally built as a place to anchor blimps. I think I knew that. Until the blimps all blew up and they decided that was a bad idea. <laughs> okay. This is one of these things again. Okay. Oops, missed. There we go. That's upside down. Wow. And this is from Deborah Carmen, Thomasville, Georgia. Very nice donation. That's very good. Who is that from? Deborah Carmen. Be very careful with it. Put it in the pot. Good Lord. Put it in the pot. Okay. And then we have something here. Citizens Bank. And then we have the Ipswich Country Club, which is a bill. Even though the Country Club is not opened this month or last month or whatever, it's $138. the only place I can go to, to for dinner where I can make the reservation and walk in the door and sit down without <laughs> having to stand up and wait and things like that. I can't do that. Yeah. <sighs> so, at any rate, I do think that I do think that Tom paid some sort of bunch of money to join. You know, it's one of those, I don't know what they were. And uh, if I quit, I think I get that back again, maybe. If they're not broke at that particular moment. <laughs> right, okay, are we ready? We're ready. Go. All right. Do 
we have any questions or comments? Well, we haven't got anything? Nothing. Nobody's saying anything? Nothing. Oh, my word. It's a nice day. Everybody's outside. Wow. Okay. Okay. Oh my, those are still on. Here we go. Little big pictures on the screen. Yes, my other computer's on. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. Okay, so we're all done. Are you getting any comments? What's this? No. Are you getting nothing. Nothing. Yeah, nothing. Really? Nothing today? Nothing. Well, I got one. How was your Saturday? Oh, good. I'm glad you go. got that. I haven't gotten that. <laughs> I see. Okay. My Saturday. I think the book is coming. I think it's 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 coming. I'm really almost winding it up. We got 400 people watching us. <laughs> well, there we go. It was a really busy day because we were really short-handed today. Really? Yeah. Yeah. But it was. Uh, but I, we get it done. We get it all done. Now let's. It's about this virusy thing. Mm-hmm. We're having a large problem with it. I, The, you, apparently you're contagious two weeks before you look like you are or feel sick or anything else and are we supposed to test everybody to see who's carrying the virus and hasn't gotten sick yet you don't know the either. government oh, doesn't why can't you answer these the, <laughs> <laughs> the government doesn't even know oh, well, well they're the last to know <laughs> I mean, <laughs> seriously, they they, yeah, I, I mean, they just haven't figured it out, you know? I mean, you know, they when someone shows symptoms, they quarantine them, test them, and... You know, you get sick with it. You get sick with that other, the other virus we had, too. Yeah, there were a lot of things going around. <clears throat> and why? This is, there's, I don't, you watch, I'll be the one to get it, but... I know the flu in general is not a happy thing for old people. Oh, no, it's not. It's dangerous. It's dangerous, and... Uh, Oh, I know what I can discuss. Uh oh. Because the whole thing is so cockeyed. Would you hand me my hose affair up there? Okay. <laughs> now this is this is really stretching it. <clears throat> this is part of my CPAP machine. This is Pap my CPAP machine. And I put this on every day. I'm not going to put it on now because I have boiled this thing, we, so it's clean. Yeah, we don't want to scare anyone. No, well, no, <laughs> true. But nonetheless, that that thing goes on me very tightly, and it wraps around my head, and it stays on. Now, the part that set me off and running was this part. This is the part that goes in my machine that, that blows air into this thing. All right, but the way that that's made... Now, you sit in an airplane and you look up and you pull that little thing out. That would go in here. Hmm. And you would be breathing the most pure air that was available on an airplane for one of these. And this, this is just an old one that was left over and I just... Is that what it's designed to do, do you think? This? Yeah. No, it's, it's, a, pop, it's a CPAP. No, no, I understand, but I wonder if they designed it with that in mind or no. Oh, no. No? I don't think so. No, that fits in my CPAP machine. Okay. But it was just, who's to know we were having this disaster with <laughs> yeah. with uh, contagious stuff, and I just, that would, all you need is a piece of duct tape to hold it in there. <laughs> and you would breathe the best air you'd have available on a whole plane ride. Until you have to get up and go to the bathroom. Oh, <laughs> okay, okay. Best not to put it on, though, because it's one of those things where someone tunes in right at that second, and they see you with the mask on. It's like, oh, my God. 
stay up there. There we go. All right. Okay. We have some comments finally. Here we go. Um, Sharon asked, how was your day? We got that. Anya wants to know who's doing overnight. How was your day? Uh, I don't know who's doing overnight tonight. I didn't look at the schedule this morning. But... I don't know if it's Molly or... I have no idea whether Reese is pregnant. I can see that here. Yeah. Oh, here's uh, here's one that I know you've talked about before. And um, Oh, Dawn wants to know if you had a project today. I didn't get... To, uh, it's, it's a book. I <laughs> you were working on the book all day. <laughs> Jesus. I was up at 3.30, 4 o'clock this morning working on that book. <laughs> and reading it and trying to get the pages to come out right and every if I make a correction to it or anything like that and and save it and things and print another copy the pages didn't compare you know it wasn't the same no. and I, I I've had a terrible time putting it together but I'm working on it god damn it I will get it there so here's one from BJ Moose 22 is there a story behind the three caricatures in the arena yes there is and I know you've told us before. I, have, <clears throat> I used to make a lot of money to put my kid through college with my donkey hitch. Of eight, I had eight donkeys like the Budweiser. And I made those, I made three wagons to pull behind my original wagon. And on those three wagons, I put Bush, Clinton, and Perot. And then there was a fourth wagon where I had a shovel and bucket and I said, they're all full of shit on the fourth one. Um, the interesting part of the thing, in Salem, we were coming down with the whole rig, and we are very popular. We won a lot of prizes with that thing. Um, and Perot, what, got a flat tire or something? Perot had a problem. So we had to pull his pin and leave him there <laughs> and continue on the parade with only Bush and Clinton. And, and it was indicative of the way it was going to go anyway. No, I, I did those myself. Well, I don't know how or why. I just did them. <laughs> I thought it was too bad to throw them out. No, yeah, they're, they're kind of fun to have up there. And the funny thing about a parade is they don't see the same thing. I'm, the same person. It, it's two sides to a parade. And when I did those, I'm not sure that Perot is on the back of Perot or Bush is on the back of Bush. I don't, I don't know whether I got that straight or whether I got that screwed up. But it doesn't make any difference because nobody sees both sides on a parade anyway. Yeah, sure. All right. All right, so you already answered about Reese. We don't know yet. Mm -hmm. So what are the choices for supper? The um, <coughs> salmon is excellent. Salmon with blueberries on it? Really? Really weird, but that's good. The um, there is a spaghetti uh, bolognese sauce. Bolognese, yeah, that smells really good. That is, it, it's very good. It's, it has none of that thick tomato sauce in it that mm. the rest of the world puts in. It's just tomatoes, meat mostly, and stuff. Yeah, that's very good. And then there was a shrimp something too. There's some. a shrimp and and um, a very heavy spaghetti, which I did not care for. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, the, the shrimp and the sauce on it were fine, but it's that heavy, gummy. It's spaghetti, but it's flat. <laughs> oh, it's wow. thick. What is, it? is that vermicelli? Or? No, no. vermicelli is thin. Oh, okay. I don't know. I vermicelli is like angel hair. Um, no, it's more like... Someone will tell us. <laughs> yeah. Heavy spaghetti. Heavy-duty spaghetti. It's thick. <clears throat> and then there are chimichangas, but those have gotten... Those have names on them, I think. Janine took two. But we had, that was a special ordered bar, but. Mm. Oh. That's what's um. for supper. All right, let's see. I get, are Barbara, we oh, sorry, go ahead. Go ahead, are we done? No, Barbara from Michigan says the airlines has only about 30 to 45 minutes of oxygen. Really? I don't know. I didn't know that. There's not oxygen that comes out of those holes. That's a little disconcerting. That's the one that you blow 
you know, you, you could have blow it on your face when you're sitting there in the chair. Just a vent. Just a vent yeah. of some kind. Yeah. <laughs> um, Coco by K9, um, North Carolina, wants to know which meal have you tried from yesterday? Most of them. <laughs> Most of them. <laughs> what was your favorite? That that salmon with the blueberry stuff on it. That's not bad. I didn't see that. I'm gonna have to look again. That's pretty good. Uh, what I had last week was either salmon or swordfish. It was excellent. Salmon. It yeah. would be. I, it was, I didn't order swordfish because somebody told me I'm not to eat swordfish. Because of the mercury? No, not because no. of the mercury, but no. because there are not enough swordfishes. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. Killing off too many swordfishes. Okay. Um, I haven't had swordfish in years. Let's see. That's not true. I have. Because when we got that fish from that fish store down in Ipswich, every once in a while there'd be a piece of swordfish there, which I would eat. But then I figured I didn't order it, so that wasn't I wasn't guilty. <laughs> okay. All right, Anif Io, Carlene, your thoughts on the Daily Doggy about the ventilation supports spigots in the overhead airplanes. We flew back from Costa Rica on Thursday, and the pilot or someone had overridden the ability of people to control the vents themselves. All the vents in the plane blasted cold air full speed on the whole way north, four and a half hours. We all froze. But I bet that was outside air from 35,000 feet and therefore clean. <laughs> oh, jeez. I don't think it would be because there'd be not enough oxygen. There wouldn't be enough oxygen. Yeah, it'd be too thin. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Um, Graham Two Boy says the line, lines at our Costco this morning were wrapped around the building. Hundreds of panicking people ready to hoard toilet paper. <laughs> I, I just don't get this society. <laughs> Obviously, only thinking of themselves. It's. It's kind of, I was, I was in one of the home goods stores yesterday and a woman came by me with a cart full of those bleach wipes, the, you know, yeah. I mean, just full. <laughs> I was like, whatever. I went down and got more Dilantin, I'll tell you. Oh yeah, well, uh, yeah. <laughs> That's pretty critical. <laughs> it, <coughs> I'm gonna try and get another three months. Yeah. It's $400 a month. Holy mackerel. That's not true, is it? It's $400 three months. It's $400 for the bottle I just got, which I think is three months. Three months of life, yeah. Once in a blue moon, people over 60 should keep social distance from others. Three feet recommended. Use disinfectant wipes before touching things like credit card machines. Da, da, da. Um, get enough sleep, eat right. Hopefully you had your flu shot. Um, keep your hand. Oh, if so, if you come down with the flu symptoms, it would alert health officials to test you for the for the novel coronavirus. Keep your hands away from your face. There are a lot of suggestions out there of things to do, but oh god! I mean, it's you know, you you just why still is it have, any different because of that flu? You have to live. I mean, you you know. Oh, is it linguini or fettuccine? It is. It's one of those. One of them. Okay. Which is the heavier duty one? Fettuccine. Fettuccine? It's fettuccine. It's okay. fettuccine. Okay. I don't like that. <laughs> I'd rather have angel hair. Oh, you like the lighter one? Yeah. <coughs> Betsy from Nevada says sources of airplane cabin pollution, including bioeffluents, which enter the, the air when you exhale. And blah, blah, there's a whole explanation here. You should read it. Ugh, it's gross. Okay. Um, but thank you, Betsy, for the information. Um, Rob says, in, in honor of Crazy Acres, it's shrimp I don't know. <laughs> uh, okay. Barb, Barb F. says, the media has created a panic with this virus, and it's not any worse than the flu virus, which is always around. Yeah, we don't to, know whether it is. Yeah, I mean, not enough people have had it yet. Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, yeah. if you got if you got some old people with a respiratory problem in the first place and they drop dead with this, then it still doesn't statistical. That's that's still not 
That's not cutting the mustard with me. No. You know, you start getting, oh. you know, healthy people like you guys, young, healthy, et cetera, et cetera. Right, they start well. dropping, then we've got to worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> but no, really? yeah. Kill off yeah, a few old guys. Huh? DMC from Tennessee yeah. says fettuccine, too. Fettuccine. Fettuccine. Okay, so All we got right. that. Any other questions or comments? One. What did the? Oh, this is Saturday, so the market wasn't open. Right, Lila May out from Ohio. So good I, RX, good website to compare prescription prices. Yeah, excellent. It is very good. I, I use it. Have you ever used that? Yes. There you go. See. I do not want to have generic Dilantin. <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, a lot of people do, but I don't want to do it. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, oh, what are we yes. having? Smelly. They're standing right, there looking at us here. What do you want? So thank you, everyone. Have a great weekend, great week. And uh, it's supposed to get really warm here this week Yay. after we had three inches of snow at our house this morning. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, I ate. You had the, the bolognese. Huh? You had the bolognese earlier? Yeah. I, I think I'd, I'd rather go with the uh, the salmon. Salmon. The salmon, that'd be good. Okay. A half a one. Half a one. Half a one. Do you want any salad? Is there salad in there? A little bit of salad would be good, yeah. And I want to make sure we thank Lori, Lori Vopi Keo, the woman who donated those cushions. Oh, thank okay. Thank you, Lori, yep. for donating the cushions. And we will send a picture when, we, when the dogs get on. We will. She asked us if we would do that for her. That's it. Thank you, everyone. Bye. All right. Okay, we got that done. And we're going to shut off the micing phone. Oof. <laughs> Bye, guys. Ugh.